My name is Mick Johnson. I play trumpet in the G-Man Soul Band. Fantastic. So how did you first get interested in music? I don't know. <laughs> years and years and years ago. But really, about six or seven years ago, I started going to jam sessions when I was playing guitar. I play guitar as well. Uh, going to jam sessions, playing guitar, met a whole great bunch of people and just one thing led to another from there. Can you tell us a bit about the band? Mm, yeah, there's uh, nine of us in the band, three strong horn section, drums, keyboards, singer, bass, guitarist and our sound engineer. We've been going about four years and we just play soul music and just, just go out and enjoy ourselves and play about twice a month. We've got about, we're, we're fully booked this month now, uh, only maybe one or two dates that are free. We're about 25, 30 gigs a year. So how did you meet? Was it at the jamming sessions? That's right, yeah, it was at the jam sessions. Um, myself and the saxophone player, we just used to go around to a couple of jam sessions a week. I myself and trumpet, him, him on sax, clearly. And just, just get up and play with separate people and different people and doing whatever. And the singer just asked us to join his band. Great. So there are nine of you yes. together. That sounds quite a lot of people to organise. <laughs> yes, it is. And, and we're, we're, we're musicians, we're not organisers so uh, a lot of that falls on me I'm, I'm a project manager by trade so I do a lot of the organising it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's involved <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you're going to be playing at the Sheffield Come Dancing that's right. And um, how did you hear about that? It's, it's through pending coffee, really. Half of the half of the money I, I make from playing in the band, I donate to pending coffee. And through doing those things, I met some of the organisers and what have you, and we, we came up with this concept to try and raise money and raise raise profile. Fantastic. Um, if anyone hasn't heard about it, can you explain what pending coffee is? Yeah, it's um, it's just a simple mechanism where you have participating cafes and and. And restaurants where you can donate cash and meals in advance for, for homeless people and, and people down on look to then go and redeem that meal uh, and then obviously they don't they don't have to pay and uh, they get a warm meal they get they get a decent drink um, so it's kind of a, a pay it forward idea which I think is really important um, I think there's more than enough money in this in the country and in the world so everybody can have their fair shake but it doesn't work out like that so I think, I think we have to practice the enlightened self-interest and be the change you want to see so I want these things to stop so I need to contribute. Fantastic, doing something you love and giving back. It's well yeah, yeah, yeah exactly you know there are, there, there's there's food banks and I think there's food banks that are giving out like over 1.1 million food parcels this year which is crazy. Uh, we're one of the richest countries as far as I'm aware and it's a crazy scenario where we've just got huge extremes of wealth and, and poverty you know you've got you've got people who, who can't afford to, to feed the kids and buy underpants and you know you, you've got you've got people who, who can put money in offshore in offshore companies to avoid tax it's crazy that sounds a great way of making a difference as well, isn't it? That everyone can do really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. you know, um, the, the money I get from gigs, it's there's, there's nine of us. We're never going to make our living from it. So just giving half of that, I think, is is a fair thing to do. So the Sheffield Come Dancing is on the fifteenth of July, and as you know, Paul and I got a vested Yes. <laughs> and have right. you got any tips for well, dancing to the, a live band? The, we the, will the, well, the thing is, <laughs> thing is, I, I'm I'm rubbish at dancing, so you know, can't really help you out at all. So, not really. If, if you wanted to try giving me some money to sway the judges, well. I'm not going to say no to that, but <laughs> I really don't think it's yeah. going to work. But try it and yeah. see what happens. Paul's already tried, but he only offered one pound to the five judges, so right. I think we're going to have to save up, really. Yeah, that, that's uh, not going to go very far. No. If you offered me just a pound, I would yes. take it all for yeah. myself. You wouldn't have to split it. Um, the live band, yeah. every time you play with the live band, it's, it's different. Mm. Um, so, oh, just there. Uh, this is the recordings that we've done for you and, and just pick up on some of those hooks there to time yourself. Because to be honest, I hadn't really thought it through till Jenny said, has anyone danced to a live band before? And I thought, yes, it is going to be really different, isn't it? Like it is, a, yeah. A nice cooperation though, isn't it? With yeah, I think it'll, be, I, I think it'll be a really good event. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. The whole band's looking forward to it. I think it's been great to raise a profile of pending coffee uh, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll get lots of money raised. We can do the event again next year and we'll help feed some people. As a band, is there anywhere you haven't played that you'd really love to play? Loads of places. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everywhere, yeah. Uh, New York, let's just say that, yeah. shall we? I'd love to play New York and yeah. Wembley and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. there's loads of places to play, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, so. have, you, have you toured at all? Are you mainly in Sheffield at the moment? No, we're, no, we're, we're, we're mostly South Yorkshire based. 
touring, I don't think is is on our scenario. We've we've, <laughs> we've got day jobs and, and what have you. So and it's the best place to live as well, isn't it? Well, why yeah, would you it's want to it's leave? exactly why would you want to leave Sheffield? Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we'll just uh, just just chug around here. There, there are lots of venues. Sheffield, a great place for music. There, there are lots of venues who who will pay for a band and um, pay a little bit more to get a, a nine-piece band like ourselves. Um, so there's there's plenty of scope for us to play and there's plenty of people to play to who want to hear it. Mm. Yeah, because on the Communities Live show on the radio we get lots of poets and writers mm. and artists and musicians and Sheffield does seem to have this really big buzz about it, doesn't it? The community aspect, of, I think, is, is, is the main thing. I've got um, lots of great friends that I've met doing this. Mm. Um, really close friends my best friends are are musicians and um you know you can go around to almost any venue and, and be seeing somebody you know and, and get support and go and do open mic sessions and everybody's on the same page everybody wants everybody to do well and it's, it's a really good community yeah it's sort of an inspiring place it seems to be doesn't it yeah People absolutely just do their own thing, don't they? A absolutely yes. and the the number of open mic sessions and and jam nights that there are now are, are on the rise over the past few years you know pubs and, and clubs losing cash and losing members and, and it's one way to get people through the door and it seems to be working. You mentioned about hiring the band, can mm. people do that? Oh definitely, yeah. 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 For parties? And For parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> weddings. Wedding, weddings, exactly, <laughs> yeah. all, all the usual stuff, yeah. Find us on Facebook, GMN Soul Band and contact yeah. myself and sort something out. Lovely, and do you play sort of what people request or? No, we play soul <laughs> music, so if they, want, <laughs> if they want rock music they better not contact us, we're, <laughs> With soul music, so yeah, we play Sam and Dave and Otis Redding and, and stuff like that, you know, um, some Sam Cooke and, and whatnot. We don't do Motorhead and Ace of Spades, <laughs> we don't do Slade, <laughs> people don't listen to that anymore, do they? Yeah. Our singer's got quite a, quite a low voice, so we don't do Beyonce or Mariah Carey either. Good. <laughs> so do you have any favourite artists? I, Otis Redding's my favourite. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what would you say are your main musical influences? Varied, really. Um, uh, I, I started playing guitar many years ago, and the main influence there was uh, Jimi Hendrix. Brilliant. That must be everybody's influence on guitar. One of my friends, a guy called Jack of Harps, this guy I met at my first jam session, he's a tremendous guitarist. He inspires me every time I play with him. It's absolutely brilliant. And like I say, Otis and the way he just just took songs and did different things with them and just did it all from the heart. It's fantastic. Is there anything else? No, get, get along to the Genton Club on the 15th of July. Put some money in the bucket or however we're collecting. Spend lots of money. Put it to pending coffee. Give something back. And there have been good loving all on me.
sand, I said it's free. 